Hey cruisers, happy Monday. We're all here. I feel like we all sort of came sliding into this live stream. For me, it was a scary drive home with a traffic accident. Nobody was hurt. A miracle because the car was literally on its side in the middle of the highway. It's just a miracle that I got home. So glad everyone was okay. But yeah, it's <laughs> it was close. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to spend in the pre-chat with all my friends. I'm kind of bumming about that, but we're going to have some fun tonight. Tonight we are talking about some of the best, most basic, awesome gifts for cruisers. Now, there's a lot of different approaches we could have taken with tonight's event. We could have done really wild out there things, but I decided that we were going to go with things that we actually use in our own household regularly that if I were giving a gift to a friend, I would personally give. So if you feel like you've seen a lot of these things before, you probably have because they're some of our favorite items. So I wanted to just kind of give you guys that little disclosure. So let's get into the list. Thank you, Matt. I know I'm glad I'm safe too. Jeepers, you know I drive a windy road to and from work and it can be really scary. So glad the weather was good, glad everyone was okay. Um, let's get into the gifts. We're gonna go ahead and kind of talk about each item and then I'm gonna tell you why I'm recommending it to you or what I use it for or both so that you understand. There's a link to this Amazon shopping list. Everything you see here today is in an Amazon shopping list. This is US only for shipping because Amazon doesn't allow us to make lists that cross into Canada. I'm sorry about that, it drives us crazy. We really wish Amazon would get a little bit more global for us and hopefully in the coming years they will, but that's already in the description. So. Let's get started and let's talk about some of the things we think are the top gifts for everyday cruisers. Remember though that we're coming back later this week. I think it's Thursday night. I'm not 100% sure. You know how I get during Vlogtoberfest. My brain starts to go a little wonky. I think Thursday night we're coming back and we're gonna drill down and go into gifts for him, her, and kids. So we're gonna be showing you an entirely different set of items on Thursday, or rather telling you about them. I don't know if I have every single item. So these are gonna be two very different live streams, but these are general, practical, basic, everyday things for your average cruiser, men, women, kids, whomever. All right, so the first item that I've fallen in love with for the last in the last year is this Travelon Urban Tech Organizer. So what I did is I left mine completely packed from my last trip, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I use it. This is a very reasonable item. It is in the shopping list, and as you can see right here, I have my chargers and cables and all kinds of stuff in it, headphones, I have a ring light, I've got some chargers, I have all kinds of things in this. I love this, anyone could use this. This is more of a masculine type of a print in my opinion, but I am crazy about it and I reach for it when I go on a road trip, when I go on the train, not just when I go on cruises. So to me, this falls into the practical category and obviously for a cruise, you can really, really fill it full of lots of goodness for charging your devices and things like that. So I've got my Apple Watch charger, I've got chargers for the whole family and headphones for just me. So this is the number one recommended item on our list today. Again, this is the Travelon Urban Tech Accessory Organizer. I wanna say this one's around $24, something like that. All right, our next gift idea isn't actually something that I have right now, but it is to buy a lanyard for someone that you love. I put a Thread Wallet lanyard in our shopping list because Thread Wallets is a company that I've been following for a long time, and I was so excited to see them land on Amazon. Now, one thing I wanna caution you about on the thread wallet lanyard that I put in, it's very stylish, but it does require that your key card has a hole in it. And some of the cruise lines are no longer allowing you to punch a hole in your card. So if that is the case, that lanyard probably wouldn't work for you and you would need more of a badge style where you slide your card into a badge holder. But anyway, I think they're really cool and they're very pretty. So check the, um, Check out the shopping list and tell me if you guys agree that the designs are gorgeous. Super, super pretty. Definitely a little more of a vanity item if I do say so myself. All right, the next item I would like to share with you is our giveaway item from tonight. If you can see, I'm gonna turn this way just a tiny bit. If you can see this set of packing cubes right here on our little shelf, this is the well-traveled four-piece packing cube set, and we are actually giving one away tonight. Here it is. Here's the set that I'll be mailing to someone, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit later how to enter this is an international giveaway. Yay, yay, yay. International giveaway dance. It's not just for the us. It's for everyone. I felt like that required some celebration, okay? All right, so that's our giveaway tonight. Love packing cubes. 
I put these in our shopping um, list, the well-traveled set, because I think they're gorgeous and they look like a desert sunset, but I also put some other ones in there for you. Can you see them, honey? Okay, um, so that you have a choice, but I think these are my new obsession. Full disclosure, you guys, these things hold almost too much stuff. They're huge. Look at the size of this one alone. Like this one right here has like half of my closet in it. And these two right here, the medium ones are really big. This one right here is also enough to take like all your socks, your undergarments, your swimwear, everything. So I think that those are really fun and beautiful. And I put a bow around them to make them look gifty. So hope you like those. I think they're gorgeous. All right, next up is we have an expensive gift but it is the GoPro. The GoPro that I put in the shopping list is not the one I'm gonna show you today. I'm actually gonna show you two. This is the GoPro 7, right honey? Is this the 7? Is this the Hero 7? Okay, I'm not the techie in the family. We all know that, right? Amazing gift for a cruiser. You do not have to have a PhD in technicalness to use a GoPro. I used to be terrified of GoPros. I now use them all the time on a cruise and they're wonderful for, are you laughing at me just a little bit? He's laughing at me just a little bit, nerd alert. I always okay. think of the first time you tried to film using uh -huh. the GoPro. Turned it the wrong way mm -hmm. and That's I was awesome. like, oh la la la, film in my face, la la la. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. And not only was I filming my face, but we were on a windy beach in Cancun and I had sand crusting in my lip gloss. It was sexy, let me tell you, but it was hilarious. We still look back at the footage this, to this day and I die because I'm making filming face, you know? I'm like holding it out, like I'm filming something so my mouth is like kind of pursed like this, like, you know, like when you're filming and you think you're all cool and you're like, you got it all in focus. So anyway, their user friendly was my point. Tip for you, if you take these in the water, if you do go ahead and buy one of the, the waterproof GoPros, you might wanna wipe your lens on occasion or just rinse. Thank you, Kevlian, for the super chat. Just drop your lens in the water to get any spots off of it. Everybody um, who I talk to, my like, techie friends, they're like, how do you keep the lens clean? I'm like, I go like this in the water. And literally that is all I do because if you have a spot on the lens, that's really gonna do the trick. You might actually add a spot you didn't have before, but that's a little tip for you. So anyway, GoPros are amazing. Highly recommend them. They're not particularly great for low light situations or indoor filming. They're getting better. The seven is actually really good. This is the seven, a little bit better for low light, but if you wanna get a really cool, dramatic, cinematic, beautiful action shot, an outdoor shot, a beach shot, the GoPro is for you. The one that we put into our shopping list is the Hero, Sil uh, the Hero 7 Silver, which is $100 less than this model. So we thought a more reasonable one would be a good idea. So on the topic, if you're buying someone a GoPro, you gots to buy them GoPro accessories. The GoPro accessory that I will tell everyone not to neglect is the GoPro Bobber. Now, the model that we put in our store is a little different. This is ancient, but the other one has a grip on it. Here's why you need this. Number one, you saw me trying to hold this and show it to you. Obviously, this is a lot better for filming. You're gonna be a little bit more like this with your GoPro, right? You have something to hold on to. But hello, GoPros do not float. You must attach a flotation device to them. Um, if you follow, Griff and Alyssa on YouTube, you gotta watch their vlog where they lost their GoPro, but saved by the floaty bobber. One of my favorite episodes of Griff and Alyssa's of all time. But you've gotta get one of these. It's also just a really great kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? Something to hold the GoPro with. It's really great. And as you can see, it has a wrist strap. So this is what I use when I go out and film with the GoPro, whether it's filming a ship or something to get a little bit of cool, footage of a ship for you guys or whether I'm filming my family, this is what I use and it helps me to stabilize. You kind of lock your arms down at your sides and you move very carefully and you get killer footage. I'm going all techie on them. Did you have a question, honey? You, you are doing very well. I want to clarify a couple of things okay. on the 7 though. Okay. The 7 is good in, or, well, it's better in low light than previous models, but it breaks down when you use that in conjunction with the you know, the new stabilization. So mm -hmm. if you want um, really good footage in a low light situation, you're gonna have to turn that stabilization off. 
Otherwise, I recommend, if you're gonna be doing a lot of um, indoor, just regular indoor lighting uh, filming, I would say go with the five. The five is much better than the, the six or the seven. Really? All things considered, you take that stabilization out of there. Now, if all you care about is stabilization and you're filming mostly outdoors, definitely yeah. go with the seven. Okay, what he said. I heard you. I heard you. But see, this is why we work together well, because he knows all this stuff and I don't. And I'm just trying to do my best here. A couple questions that came in that I wanted to address because I actually took a moment to look in the chat. Linda Curtis, to answer your question, this particular set is not the compression set, but we do recommend the compression set by Well Traveled. They are the same company. And that's how we discovered them. The first set that we bought was a compression set. So um, hopefully that answers your question. I think we have a link in our general Amazon store to those, but you can also just go on Amazon and search well-traveled compression cubes. Um, Christine, you can take stills on the GoPro if you'd like. You just go ahead and adjust the settings on it and you can take stills. Isn't this the button right here, honey, to adjust on the side if you want to take stills? Right here? Honey? Honey? He can't hear me. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to take stills on the GoPro, do you just adjust it over here and then you snap? Yeah, okay, so here's how it works for those of you who are curious about GoPros. So GoPros are very simple. They don't have very many buttons. So you have basically a power button and a setting adjustment button. So you turn the power on and then you adjust the settings using this little button so it's photos and video and then you film. The nice thing about the newer models is that they have these large screens so they actually have monitors, so to speak, whereas the older monitors didn't. So that's great. So yeah, you can take photos with them. Christine. Okay. Um, yes. Shoulder harness, Maritza. Good tip. That is excellent. I want to see if there's any other questions coming in about the GoPro while we were on this. Mark wants to know if it will work on a GoPro Fusion. Honey, do you know if the bobber works on the Fusion? Yeah. Okay. Mark Carter. Hubby says that the bobber in our shopping list will work on the Fusion. So hopefully that helps you. Um, checking to see. Yeah, Rebecca, did you clarify Rebecca's question, honey? Um, should she get the five for indoor and outdoor? Did you see that one? Um, Rebecca said, Mr. CTTV, I should get the five for indoor and outdoor. Do you think that's good? Yeah. Do you recommend the five? Yeah. Yes, if she's less concerned about stabilization. Okay, so um, Rebecca, if you're less concerned about stabilization, yes, sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. So here's what happens. He um, wears headphones in the cockpit over there so that he can hear me. So when I speak to him, sometimes he can't hear me. So I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to put you in a bad position there. Okay. All right. No, Julia, you do not need an extra waterproof case for the six and the seven, right, honey? Six and seven are totally waterproof. Hey, Griffin, and five, six, and seven are totally waterproof. Hi, Griffin, and Alyssa, and what? And, and the Fusion. Okay, five, six, and seven, and the Fusion are all waterproof. And I wanted to say hi to Griffin and Alyssa. We were just talking about you. You guys have to rewind if you weren't here because we were just talking about <laughs> how important it is to have a GoPro bobber for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's see if we have any other questions. Barbie, I'm so glad you like the packing list in the Academy. Yay, that's exactly what we were hoping for. Thank you. Okay, Heather wants to see a future video on how to use the GoPro. You bought one on a cruise and never used it. I know, Heather, I used to be the same way. You can do it. The newer versions are so easy to use, I promise you. I'm the biggest tech-resistant person in the world, and I'm now able to confidently walk out the door and use one. So we'll try to do that for you. Okay, <laughs> Jim, I saw that, that's funny. Okay, Tanya, we'll fill you in on the Academy at the end. Here's what we're gonna do. I know we're getting questions about this new thing that we're doing. Stay till the end. If anybody wants to talk about Cruise Tips TV Academy, after 6.30, we'll, we'll stay late, but we're gonna do gifts first, and then we'll talk about it later. Okay, uh, let's see here. Griffin Alyssa said the five is legit, super affordable too. Alyssa once took 342 photos on burst mode. It was hilarious. Oh, and the yellow floaty is mandatory. Yes. So Griffin Alyssa's vlogging proof of mandatory floaties is the best vlog ever. It's really fun to watch. It's not just the lost GoPro that makes it funny. It's a beautiful vlog too. So you guys need to follow their channel. I'm just saying. Okay, so what do you say Oh, Frankie wants to know, does the GoPro come with the screws? No, but the, I think that the the GoPro comes with it? With, okay. 
Okay, it comes with basic mounts. Including the screws. Including the screws. Not that red one. And not the red one, not this one. But basic mounts. Okay, so did, would the bobber come with something like this then? Yeah. Okay, so if you bought the bobber, it would come with the screw thingy. I should not be doing this. <laughs> we should let Mr. Chris Tips TV handle all technical things, right? Okay. Joanne, I think it's easy to use a GoPro. Personally, now that I'm using the newer one, it's as simple as powering it on and pressing the start button. They really, it only has, it only has two buttons. You can do it. I have botched things because I do it wrong because I accidentally put it into photo mode or something or I turn it the wrong way. <laughs> Just stick with me on this. You can do it, it's simple, right? Okay, go ahead, I'm ready for you. I'm gonna jump in here because okay. I saw a question from Jay Dura okay. about why her husband can't use a regular camera. Okay. If you're not going to be doing any kind of you know, high action type things, you, mm -hmm. you can absolutely use a regular camera. But what the GoPro does bring is durability, waterproof, extremely good um, quality photos and, and video. Okay. And it's also extremely portable. You'd be hard pressed to find a, a video camera with the same quality that's as portable as a GoPro. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Jessica wants to know if there's a GoPro that has batteries instead of charging it. No dumb questions, Jessica. There's never a dumb question. Please don't feel bad. I don't think so, right? No, there's batteries. She's, she wants to know if you can put a battery in a GoPro instead of charging it. But actually, there is a removable battery in a GoPro, and you put it on a charger. That is correct. Yes, it's a square battery. Yes, in fact, it's not I, like a AAA or a AA. But what I do is I always buy um, the the GoPro battery, batteries used to be extremely expensive, so I was buying a third-party battery. But I noticed yeah. that the the price has come down quite a bit. So yeah. as soon as I buy one, I buy a charger, and I buy a couple of spare batteries because that is one downside of the GoPros is it goes through batteries extremely fast. Yeah. So Typically, this is a ballpark. I would mm -hmm. say about, it depends on what you're doing. If you're filming like 4K video, it's gonna go out in about an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So I take about three batteries with us when we're on an excursion. It's true, and we swap them out constantly. He is not exaggerating, you guys. Ask Griffin Alyssa, you need a lot of batteries. Um, we have another question coming in. Do you know how much the seven is, honey? Off the top of your head, is it 499? Yeah. Roxanne, we're gonna check for you, but there's a big, there's a lot of price variance on GoPros, but know that, what's that? Yeah. For the, for the top of the line Hero 7, it's 399. Okay. Then if That's you go, nothing. If you, well. For, for it, the quality actually, that you're it's getting. It's something. I know. It's something. I know. But it is good quality and they do tend to last. You know, I have all my other, um, every GoPro I've ever had is, is still working fine. Yeah. Um, so it's a good investment. Um, but if you go down to the silver, you're going to pay Three nine? No, I'm sorry. Um, Two ninety nine, and yeah. I think you know. E even the sessions are. I think the sessions might be. You know, I don't want to say. They're I don't want to say, but but I would say anywhere from like one twenty nine to three ninety nine, you can pick up a GoPro. Okay, good. But, so there were lots of questions coming in about price. Mr. Cruz Tips TV, stay with me because I have more questions for you. Okay. Well, I'm going to jump in now because Nurse Nancy asked if there was an affordable, affordable alternative, and yeah. I want to put put out there, there are many now. Yeah, it used are. to be that the it's alternatives were actually pretty subpar, but now it's, you have a lot of things to choose from. And I, I recommend a, uh, a brand named Yi, Y-I. Oh, did you they, put a link in there? They have a there? full line. Yeah, okay. I did. I put in one model, but they, they have a full line of these models. And they're, mm -hmm. the uh, image quality is extremely good. Okay. There, you know, you have Me. to you have to put them side by side and then compare them. Can people buy them on Amazon or should they of go to course, somewhere yeah, like B and H? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, basically Dave, anywhere. Dave said, Dave Mellow Bulldog, and they watch us on their TV. By the way, he said, I think Mr. CTTV is in his happy place. He's actually an introvert, Dave, and he's not shy about saying it. So he's he's in his technical happy place, like he's behind the scenes happy place, if you know what I mean. I want to address all the GoPro questions that are coming in because these are so good, you guys. And you're right. Those of you who are saying we need to do an episode on the GoPro, I think you're right. Um, Pam wants to know how much the extra batteries are. Do you know, honey? 30, 40? I just picked up a battery for uh, the Hero 7 for $16. I will double check and make sure that that wasn't a special deal, but I was shocked because usually they're way more than that. I'll, I'll get okay. your price real quick. Good idea, Heather, by the way. I just saw that comment. Really good idea, actually. Um, 
Uh, there's more. I'm scrolling for a moment. Oh, Lindsay Zimmerman says, what's the difference between the shorty device for the GoPro and the handler, the floaty device? Lindsay, you're very well versed in your GoPro accessory language. I'm impressed. Um, do you know the difference, honey? The shorty and the GoPro handler? You didn't have my full attention, but I would imagine one floats and the other one is more of a folding, non-floating thing, but I, I'd have to double check. We'll look for you, Lindsay. Lindsay, message me on Facebook too if you want to after this and we'll try to figure it out for you. I love that this has turned into the GoPro chat. That tells us we need to talk more about the GoPros, you guys. We use them a lot. The thing is, um, a lot of you guys were asking us in, in preparation for tonight's live stream, like, should I get a GoPro? What camera do you use? The truth is, you will be shocked at how much we use our phones. Shocked. We do use professional cameras, we do use vlogging cameras, we do use the GoPro. But when I'm on my own and how we got started, guys, the best camera to use is the one that is in your hand. So I have the iPhone, what do I have, honey? Uh, here we go again, me not knowing the tech stuff. I have the iPhone XS, it's brand new. The portrait mode on this camera is as good as my $800 DSLR. So when I tell you guys to use your phones, I'm serious because I'm speaking from experience. It's really, really okay not to pack a fancy camera. If you're going to Alaska and you're gonna be seeing wildlife and you're gonna be, you need a huge lens, I get it. If you're gonna be in the water, you need a GoPro, I get it. But for day to day, have a nice upgraded phone and use it because it's in your hand and you're, you're gonna get the most photos out of it. So I don't know. We say that over and over again because I think it's like one of the best, absolutely the best tips for new cruisers. All right, you guys, we spend a lot of time on the GoPro, but this was really good. Roxanne wants you to do your own tech show, hun. He would be so good at it, Roxanne. He would, my shy guy. He really would, he'd be precious. Um, Natasha, this is a loopy case. They're fantastic. Um, this is why you want a loopy case because it stops the drop. I think that's their kind of their slogan. But um, I did have a pop socket before this and I liked it a lot too. And it was better for resting the phone on things like that to like watch. But this is good for me because I got a case of the dropsies. So like when I'm coming into my house after work and I go to the mailbox, I have my phone in my hand and I grab my mail and I put my mail in my hands and then I don't drop my phone on the ground. I probably drop my phone an average of once a week on the concrete floor of my garage. So, okay, let's get back on track with the list because I feel bad about lagging, but I really, we're not in a hurry tonight so we can enjoy and have fun. Um, Alyssa, yes, a hundred times, yes, get the excess. The case is amazing. They're like 40 bucks, totally worth it. Um, I don't know if you use a magnet, Alyssa, on yours. I use a magnet for my car. So I listen to podcasts in the car and I like to mount my phone. It's a little tricky with the magnet mount. Other than that, I will never go back. And the designs, uh, uh, I can't even pick them. They're amazing. So yeah, get a loopy case and take some gorgeous Instagram photos of them for me, please, because I, want, I know you guys would do an amazing job with that. Okay, Paul, we will teach you how to take video on your phone. Wayne. Thank you for the super chat and the kind words. Wayne just simply says, you rock. You rock, Wayne, thank you. All right, you can tell I missed you guys. This is so fun. All right, wow, Linda, 856 photos. I'm so impressed, this is amazing. You guys, okay, we could talk cameras all night. You wanna, guess, you wanna move on? Let's move on, okay. What's my next item? Okay, so we, the last item was the bobber. And now we're talking about why you would need a nerd wallet. <laughs> you guys know, you've already seen me talk about nerd wallets over and over. If you buy this, you're a cruise nerd. Okay, this is me on embarkation day. Yep, uh-huh. This is me not being fashionable on embarkation day. This is me being a practical mom who has passports, you know, precious sweet passports for the whole family and I wanna be like all hands free. So, you gotta have one of these. They're cheap, uh-oh. I got stuck on my microphone, honey. Okay, and they hold a lot of stuff. The reason that you need them is because A, you can go hands-free and they're inexpensive. 
You can put a pen here for signing your customs forms. You can put other stuff here like your room key cards. Check this out. These are our MSC Cruises cards. Everything is still packed in here from my last one. Little Cruise Tips TV business cards. And here's what I love. This is my secret tip for you. This is where you put your cash for tipping the porter. Voila. So I have no wallet when I cruise. I put my wallet in the safe and I abandon that whole like wallet lifestyle. And this actually, this whole thing goes in the safe, but this is what I use on embarkation day to save me. So this is what it looks like used. This has probably been on 20 cruises. And this is what it looks like when you buy it at TJ Maxx for $5.99 and it hasn't been used. <laughs> they are in the store, but if you see them at TJ Maxx, they're probably a little bit cheaper, um, maybe just a couple dollars cheaper. So another awesome must have for a cruiser. And yes, this would fit in a Christmas stocking. So Santa, if you're watching, everybody in the family will know just the mom or the dad. Just one person in every family needs one of these. I love them, I think they're great. All right, let's see what everybody's saying. <laughs> are you cloning Say Hey Honey? <laughs> no way, Rachel! There was a cruise nerd wallet on, on sale? Connie, do I take what? Do I take this on excursions? No, I don't, Connie. I take a Ziploc bag full of some $1 bills <laughs> and like a credit card. I'm not kidding you. I literally put my cash and my credit cards in a Ziploc bag inside of a Wander Wet bag. So Wander Wet bags, if you guys don't know, and I'm sure you all know because you've been here forever, they're wet swimsuit bags, so they keep everything dry, but I like a little extra layer, so I, that's my wallet. It's a Ziploc baggie. I hate taking a wallet ashore. I feel like it's too real life, and I don't want to take up all that space in my bag, so I throw that into my Wander Wet bag, and then I throw that all into my backpack. So, all right. <clears throat> this is so fun. I love this. Norm, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. All right, I need a drink. I got a little dry throat here. Our next item is coming soon, guys. Um, I wanted to let you know that <clears throat> there are several items in the uh, shopping list that we made that we don't have today. So I'm just gonna share them with you. One of them is this waterproof pouch thing that you can put your phone in. It's a Lewis and Clark product. I don't own one yet, but it's sort of a trend right now, and I wanna talk about it for a second. So one thing I saw when we were in Grand Cayman at Stingray City, it was so funny. I saw everybody wearing waterproof phone cases around their neck without their phone in it. They were putting their stuff in there. So instead of getting like a waterproof pouch, they were taking those phone case things and sticking their credit card, their lipstick, their room card, and whatever else, cash, in there and then they had their phones in their hand. So <laughs> I was thinking we probably need to make sure that we're like, you know, sharing a few products like this with you. So we've put a few different um, digital camera pouch slash around your neck stuff pouches in the store because I think that it's something that we're gonna see a lot more of when you go on an active excursion or if you go to a beach and you're asking yourself the question, uh, what do I do with my valuables when I go in the water? Then you need something like that. You guys, you need to not take so much stuff on shore. You don't need to take a purse. You don't need to take a wallet. You need to do it, what I recommended and literally take a small Ziploc bag or a bag with cash, credit cards, and your room cards and keep it light so that if you decide you wanna swim, you can just pop your valuables into something around your neck. Please trust me on this one. You know what I mean? Like let go of the need to have so much stuff on vacation and keep it light and that way you can all enjoy without having someone sit back and babysit the valuables. Okay, so a couple of those in the store. Next up is a lightweight backpack. This is the Oryxen um, 33 liter backpack. So they have 20 liter and 33 liter. I'm gonna show you how this opens up. This is what I've been using for the last few cruises. The reason we like them is because they're packable. So if you don't want to carry them on the plane, you can just kind of adjust them like that. And all of a sudden you have a backpack with a place to put your water bottle, your belongings, 
and it, they're fantastic. So if you don't have a packable backpack, you gotta get one. They're usually under $15. They may not last forever. They may not be super uber high quality. I should probably tell you that, but um, for 15 bucks, I don't really care because I can throw it away and buy a different color in a year. Hopefully you guys are on the same page with that. Okay, next item tonight um, is not something I'm gonna show you tonight, but it is to, I suggest that you buy a water bottle for someone in your life that is cruising because it is really expensive these days to buy water on a cruise. If you take your own disposable water bottle, excuse me, not disposable, refillable water bottle, you can take it to the buffet, you can fill it with water, iced tea, lemonade, juice, and you can take it ashore and it's a really nice gift and you can kind of customize. I put a Camelback and a Contigo in our store, but they, are you giving me a heart? Is that just to tell me you love me? He just said over there. Thank you, honey, I love you too. Um, I think it's a really good gift, and I put some really inexpensive ones, but some known brands in the store for you all. Okay, another tip for you that I couldn't find in my closet at the last minute because that darn traffic jam on the way home is a plastic cruise luggage tag. So if you want to protect your cruise tags from the elements and you don't wanna just staple them onto your bags, you can slide them into plastic protectors. We have two brands in the shopping list for this episode in the description, and they are fantastic. And I think that we might have just completed our list. Yay, so now we get to have some fun. Okay, let's get going on how to enter the giveaway. So tonight's giveaway is international and we're gonna talk about it now. So is everybody listening, listen up because we only have until 6.35, it is 6.31 right now, you have until 6.35 to enter the giveaway. To enter, let us know what country you're from. However, this is an international giveaway. You can be anywhere in the world and tell us what is, if you are going on a cruise, what is one gift you would like to receive? All right, everybody go. Going on a cruise, what is one gift you would like to receive? And I'm going to get into the chat and catch up with y'all. I've missed everyone. Oh, have we, have we missed a lot of questions tonight? Barbara, 542 people watching, but only 156 likes. Barbara, thank you for being our cheerleader. Come on guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Go team, go. Oh, I gotta say thanks. We got lots of cheerleaders. I wanna say thanks to Say Hey Aww. and Molly okay. and Jim. Thank you oh all gosh. so much. Thanks you guys. Hey honey, before you go into giveaway randomization land, um, somebody's asking for a link to the store. Thank you. Are we? The shopping list, not the store. Tonight's shopping list. Whoever just asked for that, let me know. Oh my goodness. Why do so many of you guys want packing cubes? This is amazing. Look at this. They all say, I want packing cubes. Natasha said cash. <laughs> Natasha, that is the cutest answer ever. I think I would answer that too. I think I'd take some cash. And then I can pick my own prize. I would like an origami pop folding organizer from Natasha's 31 store and I ordered one today, so yay. All right, this is so fun. You guys, I love this day. Um, ooh, Wicked Lalone said, you should do shopping on Wish for a Cruise and rate cheap packing. That's a great idea. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have two more minutes to enter the giveaway. This is definitely international, you guys. If you are from outside of the US, get in there. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, this is international. What's that? Okay, so we're putting the link into the shopping list that we've created for tonight. Oh, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, um, when I gave him all of these ideas for tonight for our shopping list, he added some fun things of his own. He added a hat, a really pretty bracelet, and a travel journal because he is apparently the coolest guy on the planet and understands what people like. So you're gonna see some bonus items in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is great, you guys are so fun. All right, so we have one more minute to enter the giveaway. Um, let's see. Uh, PB and Jen, that's a really good idea. So PB and Jen, I would love to give away an Academy membership, but right now my membership level is so basic that I can't even give people coupons. So I'm considering upgrading so that I can give discount codes and coupons in the future. <laughs> I noticed that today, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't even, 
I can't even do a coupon yet, so we'll work on that, but thank you. Great idea. Okay, Roxanne started using packing cubes. Yes, packing cubes are the bomb. They are so good. Um, but while you guys are doing this, I want to look and see what tomorrow night's episode is. Oh, tomorrow night we are not live. Tomorrow is the one day, the Tuesdays are the day that we can't go live, so I want to tell you what tomorrow's episode is. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., we have a, an episode we already recorded called Things We Don't Pack When We Pack Carry-On Only. So I was thinking of a few things, like realistically, what do I not pack on a cruise when I do carry-on only? And I think it was like a top five list. So that'll be fun. And then Wednesday, we're back with a really cool thing. We're doing cruise funnies and mishaps on Wednesday night. Do not leave your answer here, but watch for my post on Facebook and a post in our community tab here. I'm gonna ask you guys for um, your funny cruise experiences or mishaps, and we're gonna pick the top five funniest things that have ever happened to someone on a cruise, and we're going to talk about them in the live stream on Wednesday night. But if you don't get selected, we want you to come to Wednesday's live stream and share them in the chat. So it's gonna be a total fun fest. We're going to share the top five funny things that have happened to us that are kind of like, it's more like funny slash mishap. We've actually had some really weird slash dramatic things happen on cruises that you guys may not know about. And we're, uh, we were driving in the car the other day. We're like, wait a minute. We actually really have some funny things. We need to write these things down and we're going to do an episode about it. So please don't leave them here because I want to collect them in an organized fashion and I'll get out there and show you. And then Thursday, we're back again more gift ideas. This time it's for him, her, and kids. So we're going to really separate things out. And then Friday night, live at 6 p.m., it's pro dining tips. And then Saturday, it's new cruiser Q&A at noon Pacific. So we're live every weekday at 6 p.m. All right, close out the giveaway, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Okay. Um, I think that we have a question from Melissa. How do you use packing cubes to make the most of your clothes? Melissa, this is one of the biggest questions that we get. Um, I personally, my biggest tip for you is to use them to pre-pack. So you're starting to organize things in advance of your cruise and you're putting everything in your closet and then right before your cruise, like two or three days or a week, you go to the packing cubes and you really reassess it again and you go, okay, do I need all this stuff? Does it match? Is every, does everybody have what they need? And then you remove a few things. It's, so it's a compartmentalization thing for me. And then when I get onto the ship, not only are your suitcases very organized because when you open your suitcase, you're just taking cubes out, right? But you can then slide the cubes onto a shelf. So you would just like take one of these. Sorry, I'm untying the bow. I'll be right back. <laughs> so you would just literally take the cubes and then in your closet, you just go like this. But what you do is you open them like that and you pull back the flap and you stick it right there. So then all week you just go and you grab what you need out of the cubes. That's how we've learned to use them. To me, it's easy when you're traveling with a family. My son's items are kind of small. So like when I need to get his jammies, I just reach for his jammies. His socks are tiny, his little undies, his swimsuits, and it just kind of, I don't know, I feel like it keeps things more organized. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, have you had enough time to pick the winner? Okay, let me know. I'll wait for it to be on the screen. I'm looking for a few more questions. <laughs> so Tara said, Mr. CTTV has the best pack for a man videos with cubes. Yes, Tara is right. Mr. Cruise Tips TV isn't all behind the scenes. He does his own packing videos, basically. So here's how we do it. I usually talk and then at the end, he actually shows you his packing. So you gotta stay to the end, because he just usually does a little time lapse of his crazy amazing folding technique. It's really fun to watch. Michelle's got new cubes coming tomorrow. PJ wants to know, do I really need water shoes? I will buy them if people really need them on a cruise. Okay, PJ, it's not whether you need them on a cruise, it is what you're doing on said cruise. If you are going to a beach with coral, or rocks, or you are going somewhere like the Atlantis Water Park in the Bahamas where you're gonna have burning hot pavement, personal experience much, oh my gosh, we burned our feet. Um, yeah, if you're not gonna do any of that stuff, you don't need them. You don't need them on the cruise ship 
at all. On the cruise ship, you wear flip-flop sandals or sandals. You take them off to get in the pool. So, yeah. Okie dokie, Chokies. We have a winner. Oh, we have an international winner tonight. I'm excited. Our winner tonight is Isabel Sweet from Canada. Isabel, congratulations. Please email me your physical address at Sherry, S-H-E-R-I, at cruisetipstv.com. Please do not leave your address here in the chat for security reasons. Wayne would like you to put the store up again, honey. Okay. Lisa says you do need water shoes. Rebecca said don't forget a folding umbrella. These are all really good. Nancy says my husband does not pack. My husband packs. I, ha I, I, I don't know. I think he, I have forced him to pack over the years. I used to do it for him, but now it's like, I don't have time, honey. Give me your stuff. What do you want to take? We talk about it. We have a little consultation. And then he packs his own stuff. It's actually kind of sad. Okay, uh, we're not in a rush. We're gonna go ahead and see what other questions we have here. May I please <clears throat> ask you to retype your question if I have missed it. We're gonna hang around for about four more minutes and we're gonna talk about the Cruise Tips TV Academy for a second because we've had lots of questions. We just released it yesterday, so we're gonna talk about it. If you don't wanna hear about the Academy, it's okay to go, but here's what's going on. Um, <clears throat> the Cruise Tips TV Academy, which is something is already linked in the description, is a new 20 video course that we have created for new cruisers. It is not on the YouTube platform. It is on a platform called Thinkific, and it is something that we are charging $15 for until November 17th. We are asking you to, if you're interested, to consider becoming a founding member to help us to refine the course. So we want you to watch the videos, we want you to download the checklist, we've created packing lists, ultimate shore day bag lists, to-do lists, all kinds of things. We're going to be adjusting the price after November 17th based on the feedback that we get from people and we're refining it. So if you wanna be a founding member of the course, the description, excuse me, the link is in the description of this video. It's all over our Facebook page not hard to find. We are not going to be pushing this on you guys. This is just another learning opportunity. We are not going anywhere. Cruise Tips TVs, as you know it, is staying here on YouTube. We are going to be doing live streams, videos, trip vlogs. Nothing is changing. It's just something more if you need a sequential education on the planning process, the booking process, what to expect on embarkation day, what to expect on board, what to expect when you debark. If you want a little bit of peace of mind, it'll help. So, okay. Yes, we do, Sophie. We have PayPal and Stripe on the Academy. So you can use either one. Joanne, you're very, very welcome, my dear. No problem. Okay, Christy said, Hubby wants to get a GoPro for the first cruise. Will phones be enough to document your trip, pictures and videos, or do you agree you need a GoPro? Christy, I don't know because I don't know your personal situation. But if you have a newer iPhone, I would say it will be enough for your trip. But what I want you to do is before you go, I want you to back up your phone and I want you to get all the photos and videos off of that phone so that you have enough space on your phone to do a lot of filming. The GoPro is a great option. Yes, honey? And it also depends on what you're going to be doing too because there are situations that I would take a GoPro and yeah. I would not take my phone. now. Sherry takes her phone everywhere, no matter what, but she also has insurance, and I don't. So there's something to consider. <clears throat> How much do I pay a month for insurance? $9? Because I do things like drop my phone in the toilet. So yeah, I'm buying the insurance. Sorry, but... Okay, more questions. Um, I, know we can, I know we can do this, guys. We have plenty of time. Mr. Cruz of TV, do you see any more questions, or have you been busy giving everybody links? Okay. <laughs> oh, bridge tennis. Is that top cube enough to hold a large pair of shoes? Want to hear something funny, bridge tennis? These are my slippers. <laughs> I think it would hold up to about a size eight or nine men's, but not something too much bigger. Let me just show you. I mean, it's borderline. You might want to go with the medium set. Hopefully that visual helps you a little bit. IndyPad wants to know, do you have a video on how you disinfect the stateroom? IndyPad, I don't, but I'll tell you what I do. 
I buy the Clorox norovirus wipes that are in our store, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. They have a green lid on them and a white canister. Take a Ziploc bag full of 20 of them. Take a, uh, this is really detailed. Take a glove with you because they're rather harsh wipes. Then with the glove on, wipe down the surfaces of your stateroom that you are going to be touching, but not everything. You don't need to wipe down everything. Coffee table, remote control, phone, telephone, door handles, toilet handle, bathroom door, entrance door to your stateroom, kitchen sink. Kitchen sink? There's no kitchen. What, what? am I talking <laughs> Hello? Who is that? Like, <laughs> somebody needs dinner. Yeah. Bathroom hey, is that, sink. Is that question from IndiePad? IndiePad, yeah. You know what? What? You are not telling the truth. What? We do have an episode on this. The germaphobe edition? It is so bad. Though. It's you, so you, old you, and so bad. Don't you, tell them about it. You guys, you guys it's hideous. Know. I don't it's really want bad. them to know I'm about it. I'm putting that. in a link. It's coming. You it's are coming. not. It's coming. Do not let them see that. It's coming. Okay, E. Nixon wants you to do a gear video about transferring photos from phone camera cards onto the tablet laptop. Mr. Cruz, Stevie, are you going to do that for her? <laughs> you guys, we have so many things we need episodes on. E. Nixon, we will keep that in the queue. We will try. The problem is I'm the one who's the talking head on the camera, and he's the knowledge guy, so I have to get him to get on the camera, and that's just not going to happen. So w the question was, was transferring photos? Yeah. To the phone from the or phone iPad. to the iPad, you can't answer it tonight. It's too much. Um, it's not. I mean, it can if you're if you're transferring like 4K video from something like a Sony that uses a special specific codec. It can get complicated, but generally speaking, it's not that difficult. You can buy something like, um, well, if you're using an iPhone, yeah, um, you can buy something like the Hutu that I think we have in our shop. It's it's basically just one end is a lightning plug, and the other end is a USB, and you just transfer them using the, the app. Yeah. Okay. E. Nixon, I hope that helped you a little bit. Hooch has a suggestion. When you go on vacation, bring multiple memory cards for GoPro or, and or digital camera. God forbid one doesn't work and or gets misplaced. You won't lose the whole vacation. Totally happens. We used to film weddings. And let me tell you, you need extra everything because that is terrifying to think of losing someone's day. So we're well trained and we totally agree with you. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Bye, Connie. We'll see you later. Um, the woohoo thing? Kathy said, please show us how to do the woohoo. I think she's talking about the Hutu. Kathy, are you talking about the Hutu? I don't know how to use the Hutu at all. I need a video on how to use it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. Millie said, don't also forget to wash down your lamp switches and your door handles. Good ones. These are great. Okay. I think we've done a good job. Jill said these won't ship to Canada. Any suggestions? Jill, we have a, an affiliate link for Amazon Canada. So if you message me on Facebook and tell me what you want, I'll look for you and see if I can find anything. Okay. Looking for questions. All right. Yeah, sure. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Um, yes, Jennifer, we did make a video about norovirus that includes more tips about norovirus than just the wipes. If you search the videos tab, you'll come up with it. It talks a lot about the fact that it's really not a cruise ship disease, that it's common in other settings and was founded on land, but that the reason that we hear about it, and Jennifer's totally right, is that it is far more reportable on cruise ships. So the way that cruise ships report to the CDC is with far more frequency and detail than land-based establishments, such as retirement homes and restaurants and things like that. Brian, can you gift the Academy? That is an excellent question. I will have to think about that. Brian, if you can message me on Facebook, you and me can brainstorm on that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pop in one more okay, time here. Please do. The question about the who to. Yeah. We do have a video on that. I put a link in the chat. Okay. So you can check it out. Was that Kathy? 
Mm, Kathy Donnelly Strickler. <laughs> Mr. Chris Tips TV just put a link in there for you to a video we made about the Hutu. See, I don't even remember that we made a video about the Hutu because I have Vlogtober brain. That's just what happens. All right. I think we're going to be wrapping up here soon, mainly because I need to feed my family, as per usual, on a weeknight. <laughs> If we're live, that means we haven't eaten yet, so we kind of need to go. But we will see you all Wednesday night. Thank you so much to those of you who have joined the Academy and the Facebook page. It is all linked in the description to this video. You can message me with questions. We'll get there. Wayne, thank you so much. You're so sweet. You don't have to send more. Just be here for us. That's what we need from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. See you Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. We're talking about cruise mishaps and funnies, and we're going to ask for your input on Facebook and here on the YouTube tab. So watch the community tab if you have a funny story to tell us. We'd love to feature you. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Hey, click me to subscribe.